TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 3 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, final hour of the trading day. And we got markets hanging around negative territory, almost where they've been all day. Dow off 142 points, trading at 26,779. We got the S&Ps negative 17 points, trading at 29,700. Excuse me, 2973. Both the Dow and the S&P off just more than about half a percent. And then you get over to the Nasdaq, down about eight tenths percent, or 68 points in the negative, trading at 8,093. And the Russell actually leading the way, down more than a full percent, or off 16 points at 1559. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the future markets. We'll start it off with the Dow currently trading 26,780 on that chart. And as you can see, I mean, you want to talk about a tight trading range, folks. Since about 10:30. This morning, we've been sitting in about a 40 point Dow trading range from call it 26,800 being the top, 26,760 being the bottom, and we're square right in the middle of that 26,780. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. We trade high, lower on the opening bell. We'll jump over to Apple in a moment. Apple getting a downgrade, down about 2% at one point. We got the NASDAQ 100 trading at 7806. We'll see if Apple's getting a little bit of a bounce as the NASDAQ 100 has. S&P's trading at 2977. Again, pretty calm day. We've been under 2980 since about 1130 this morning, and we haven't even gotten below 2974. So you're talking about only six S&P points over the last three and a half hours for a trade range. Crude oil, different story. Check out that run. So from 8.30 this morning, trade from 57.32 up to 58.40. We were sitting at $58 within the last almost half hour, and then crude falling out of bed a little bit, trading from $58. These are five-minute bars we're looking at. We're now trading at 57.45. Gold contract volatility as well. Sunday night, we're trading at 13.96. We trade all the way up to 14.09. We're currently back under 1400 at 13.99. And the euro US dollar trading 112.12. As I mentioned it, Apple getting a downgrade from Rosenblatt to sell on fundamental deterioration. Some of the other headlines Deutsche Bank. Shares slumping more than 7% as the lender gets ready for a major overhaul. 18,000 jobs cut by 2022, and you're talking about 7.4 billion euros it's going to cost them to square that away. And to jump over to those two, started off with Apple, yeah, down about 2.09%, and Deutsche Bank, 6% ah, now, had been down a little bit more, but trading at $7.50, $7.54. Stay tuned, folks. we got a treat. Larry Pezzamento filling in for Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 4. Have a great Monday.